Hi. Um, well, some people may accuse the Christians of being relic worshippers, or that they may uh, foolishly um, uh, pray to or revere the bones of some saint or some martyr. But what about the ancient Greeks? I mean, we have reports here that the ancient Greeks, according to Pafsanias, uh, the superstitious regard to relics, and especially to the bones of, super, of deifying heroes, was a conspicuous part of the popular idolatry. According to Pafsanias, uh, the shoulder blade of Pelops would be that after passing through divers adventures, being appointed by the Oracle of Delphi as a divine means of delivering the Eleans from a pestilence under which they suffered, it was committed as a sacred relic to the custody of the man who had fished it out of the sea and then it was entrusted to, to his posterity after him. Um, Bafsanias Iliga. The bone, later on we find that um, the bones of the Trojan Hector were preserved as a precious deposit at Thebes. They Thebans, says Bafsanias, say that this Hect, his Hector bones, Hector's bones, were brought hither from Troy in consequence of the following oracle. And the oracle said that Bithia said, Ah, Thebans who inhabit the city of Gathmos, if you wish to reside in your country, blessed with a possession of blameless wealth, bring the bones of Hector, the son of Priam, into your dominions from Asia and reverence the hero agreeably to the mandate of Jupiter. Uh, so here we have two examples. Uh, of course this is from Bafsania's Viodica. So um, we have got two examples here of how the Greeks worshipped, worshipped a, sho a shoulder blade and the bones of, of a hero called Hector who was not even Greek anyway. So how could bones help Thebes? A bunch of bones help the city of Thebes practically, and how could a shoulder blade help the Eleans who are suffering from some, some sort of pestilence? Well, practically, they can't. And it's only up to a bunch of superstitious people to believe this crap. And it differs not from the superstitions of some Christians, not all Christians, some Christians, who believe that they can actually be assisted by the bones of some martyr or some saints or revering bones or the hands of some saint, some martyr who died, uh, who died, for example, in the age of uh, uh, Diocletian or Maxentius or Licinius, for example. So it doesn't really make any sense apart from superstitious, it's just a bunch of superstitious idolatry. So whether it's from the Christian period or whether it's from the ancient Greek period or the Roman period. Well, superstitious idolatry. And we have two examples from ancient Greece uh, pointing to that direction from our good friend Bafsanias.